Buhay Online. Sikahan sa at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tumayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pakayari at naganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay Online. Sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalitest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang sana ang narating ng teknolohiya nito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating tech imami, si J.C. Bautista. Hello, good morning. So sorry, I've been trying to get online. Ako po ay nagbo-broadcast para sa inyo ngayon through my cell phone because my laptop seems to be here. Look at what's happening. See? Ayan. Blank po. Hindi ako makapag-broadcast sa aming uh, through my laptop dito sa broad screencast. So I am actually uh, live uh, with you guys on my cell phone through my Facebook uh, broad streamcast communications page on my Facebook. Uh, kaya wala, I'm not using my OBS. Wala yung mga background ko because hindi ko po maon, no? Itin nyo, yan, blank. Tara! It doesn't want to come on. But anyway, good morning po. Happy Tuesday, everyone. <clears throat> And um, uh, happy, malapit na po tayo. Happy New Year this weekend. Well, magkikita-kita pa naman tayo para magkapag-greet ng Happy New Year. But uh, of course, kakatapos lang ng ating mga Christmas festivities. It's still uh, the holiday mode, uh, holiday season. And uh, of course, anong mga breakthroughs natin in technology? Alamin po natin yan in the next few minutes. Uh, wala yung mga background ko na topics, okay? Because I had uh, news and issues that I wanted to talk about uh, online, no? <clears throat> First and foremost, of course, uh, in, the, in, the, in the field of education, no? Uh, ang upcut po, yung, yung exams ng UP, University of the Philippines, upcut is suspended, okay, for the second year. So they're suspending no, yung, pag, yung exams, no, ito sa mga gusto makaalam, yung pagkukuha ng test ng upcut ay suspended pa rin. The University of the Philippines will not administer its college admission test upcut for the second year in a row because of COVID-19 pandemic, okay? The memorandum was issued by the UP Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs uh, 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 for this year, itong uh, utilized for the academic year 2022 to 2023, okay? Ay, dito ko nga kaya Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me just put my phone here, okay? Help me, please. <laughs> I'm broadcasting from here. Please, please help me. Hawak lang to. Ikakabit ko dito to. Okay, very good. All right, thank you. Yeah, better. Okay. So as a, pero hindi ko ma, hindi ko mabasa yung news. Anyway, so yeah, so yun yun no. So and uh, ang upcut ay, ay sinuspend mo na po ang pag pag exams sa uh, UPCAT. The University Council across uh, the UP system, the highest policy making bodies of each constitu constituent university voted overwhelmingly in favor of suspending the UPCAT due to the immense logistical challenge, of course, of administering UPCAT in the UP campuses and 95 testing centers throughout the archipelago. Yun na nga. So, wala pang UPCAT test no, sa mga gustong mag aral sa UP. The UP system officially opened its application portal no October, but the composite of the final grades in grades 8, 9, 10, and 11 shall be, basis to, shall be the basis to determine qualification to enroll in lieu of the admission test. Ito po yung mga nasa mga taga-UP na, no? So, yun po ang balita tungkol sa, tungkol sa mga, ano lang tayo ha? tungkol sa mga taga-UP. Sorry, Sensha. I'm moving my stuff para makapagbasa ko ng mahusay. Alright? Very good. So, yeah. So, that's what, uh, okay, that is her, yung ilaw pala nasa mukha ko. Forget it na ako. I'm moving. <laughs> so, anyway, I'd like to welcome oops, whoever's here with me today watching. Welcome to Boy Online. Pasensya na kasi 
ayaw mag-broadcast din sa, sa laptop ko. Let me see if I can do a... It's still uh, hanging, so I'm just using my phone. Alright? So, so yun po ang, uh, ang latest tungkol dun sa UPCAT test, no? And, um, in technology in the news, okay, we want to, regarding online security, alright, I want to talk about online security. Um, always check your online security, alright? Uh, the popularity of digital payments kasi, di ba, in this pandemic, yung cashless transactions uso, right? Uso ang, ang cashless transactions, okay? And this has helped many Filipinos to access goods and services while in quarantine, isolation, and, saka, and on and off lockdowns during the pandemic. It's also made many businesses continue to, to uh, flourish or function, even with the global slowdown due to the fear of the virus. Work from home has become much easier for parents and online learning is more comfortable for students because of the safety digital payment uh, uh, that is being offered. Isa na nga dyan yung GCash, di ba? Napakalaking bagay ngayon. Also, with online payments, users can pay bills for credit cards, uh, electricity, water, and more. Online shopping, grocery shopping, and paying for food deliveries have become convenient because of digital payment solutions. Alam natin to. This technology also answers the consumer's concerns about health risks associated with handling paper bills and coins when paying for goods and services. So, pasensya na po at ako yung nagbo-broadcast na hawakan ko itong cellphone ko because yung laptop ko ayaw niyang, tsaka yung OBS ko ay magbukas para mag-livestream ako po. No? With people seeing the benefits of digital payments, users have uh, grown exponentially, right? The increase of usage and transactions across all spectrums of society attracted legitimate users but also got the attention of mga oportunista, yun nga, yung mga cyber criminals, yan. Nagkalat sila na nagnanako, identity theft, uh, ninanako, mismo yung, oh my God, you know, uh, tong Christmas season, you know what happened, you know, my sister, or nagpalala move siya ng pagkain, yung nung Noche Buena to my sister, this is in Manila, ha, lala move ito, ha, tapos nakalagay dun sa, sa trip ticket that the the, the trip was already completed, delivered na. You know, the food never got to my sisters. Nakapindot. Na, na, nadala na yung pagkain. Eh, not sure buwan yan. Parang feeling namin, inuwi niya yung pagkain para sa pamilya na. So, ibang pamilya ang nag, nag not sure buwan na nun. But really, that's really... Uh, the person who did that, eh, pwede naman siya i-trace kasi nga lalamove driver siya. Eh, bakit ganun, right? So, because of the hard times, I know, but still... That's traceable because empleyado siya ng Lala Move. Uh, kinuha niya yung pagkain. Uy! Hindi niya dineliver yung pagkain. At the same time, ay hindi dineliver kundi uh, ano, kinuha. But anyway, that's so sad. So, yan na nga. Um, in lieu of these things, so of course, na yung mga cash transactions, yan, digital payments also. Okay? With people seeing the benefits of digital payments, alright, uh, users have grown exponentially. The increase of usage and transactions across all spectrums of the society attracted legitimate users, but also nga, pati yung mga scammers na yan, uh, who are creatively wrapping up their methods to trick users into giving up their money via ma money transfer or taking over accounts via phishing. Paulit-ulit natin sinasabi tong phishing na to. Phishing, which is P-H-I-S-I-N-G. Hindi phishing na is that kundi phishing information. Ito nga yung mga nag, nasa email nyo or nagte-text sa inyo asking for your for your name or your social security number or your basta for your information wag po kayong sasagot doon kasi ninanakaw lang nila yung identity nyo para for their own gains para gamitin magbukas na account or mag-loan or nakawin yung, yung pera nyo. Alright? Lalo na pati yung mga the, ano uh, credit card. So uh you know, I've been a long time dati umagamit ako ng, you know, yung debit card ko dati sa BDO eh, yung basis na na-compromise I, uh, cyber criminals have scammed me over and over again uh, 
these attempts are not exclusive to any digital payment platform, okay? Hindi, hindi, hindi lang tinatarget yan yung e-banking. Majority regularly get scammed and phishing attacks from the internet, bad guys. Ito yun. Ito yung mga internet criminals talaga, okay? Okay, based on my experience, okay, there are two types of scams that are commonly done with each, every user that need, that users need to know about. Meron pong dalawang klaseng ng scam online na dapat nating malaman, okay, that, that we have to watch out for, okay? Unang-una na rito ay ang swindling, okay? Alright. Just recently, di ba, uso rin ang mga fake job offers. It flooded the internet, it flooded your, it intruded on your phones, it intruded in your laptops and, and, and your gadgets, okay? Uh, fake job offers flooded the SMS inbox of many users, okay? The purpose, the ang purpose ng scam na ito, okay, is not to get your bank details, but to make you willingly send money to a bank account that the cyber criminals provided. Oh, yun yun eh. Ito yung paki, or paki Gcash mo muna, or paki deposit mo sa bank. Dapat yung tandaan, di ba, pag magka-apply kayo ng trabaho, hindi kayo hihinga ng pera nun, right? Never, never kayong hihinga nun ng fee or participation fee for for that matter. Don't fall prey to that, okay? Uh, Alright? Believing that they are investing in a kanyara, legitimate part-time job opportunity. So, pati sa Facebook, di ba? Ang daming ganyan. Be a chatter, blah, blah, blah. Kunyari, ano ka, or agent ka ng cryptocurrency or yung Axie game or whatever those things are, or you know, whatever. And But then they have to ask from you a participation fee. A participation fee, no? Believing that they're, you're investing in legitimate part-time job opportunities, victims unknowingly send thousands of pesos to the mga scammers. So, ang nangyayari nyo, yun, napapadala nyo yung pera itong mga scammers na ito. Other forms of uh, swindling include, okay, the fake sellers. Di ba yung mga fake resellers, fake sellers? Ayan na, makakabiktima rin yan. Because they ask you to pay via digital payment methods, GCash or or bank to bank uh, transfer. Okay, please, uh, we know kayo dyan because scammer siya. Other forms of swindling include fake sellers who ask you to pay via digital payment methods and then they disappear without any trace. Muntik na akong mabiktima niyan. Because some of them actually go through Lazada or Shopee. Yun. Ito ha, itong isa, isa, isa sa pinakamalaking magnanakaw dyan eh. Yung mga nagbebenta kunyari ng e-bikes or um, nice bikes, mga mountain bikes and stuff. Pag nakita nyo ang mura-mura ino-offer sa, sa Lazada at sa Shopee, fake yun po. Kasi sasabihin sa iyo, mag-down payment ka muna kahit na 2,000 instead of COD. Dapat COD eh. Diba? De-deliver sa iyo yung bisikleta. Pag nakita mo, bayaran mo. Eh ito, hindi. Biglang they're gonna, I was trying to buy an e-bike, you know, an e-trike for, for us dito sa bahay para pang punta-punta sa grocery. Uh, nakita ko, it, they were only selling it for 10,000, 15,000. Eh, 20 plus thousand yun sa totoong buhay. So, you know, I tried, pero sabi ko, COD, after a while, yung seller, sabi, magpa-gcash ka naman, ma'am, kahit na 2,000 or whatever. Uh, sabi ko, bakit? at et, et, pampanga rin sila angeles daw whatever sabi ko saan ang showroom nyo pupuntahan ko na lang hindi daw hindi deliver daw so I was asking him to send me even a picture of his ID or anything hindi <clears throat> naman mag-provide pero then I realized you know tapos tiningnan ko yung site wala siyang website meron siyang Facebook site na may picture ng mga bikes pero iisa lang yung nag endorse na nabumili siya na tao whatever so it, it, it was very parang suspicious for me. So I didn't push through the transaction because I would never deposit money eh, samantalang dapat si OD. Or puntang ko yung mismong bilihan, right? But that's the thing, you know. I knew, I felt right away that it was scamish talaga. It was a scam, so to speak, right? So I didn't push through that. So ano kayo, please? Uh, be careful about those uh, resellers online also because they are also there's a lot of cyber criminals there too okay so <clears throat> alright yun na nga because as soon as you 
as soon as they they ask you to deposit some money, kala mo, legi, kala mo legitimate part-time job opportunity, yun, bigla na lang mawawala na sila. Bilang scene na lang, kahit i-message mo, kahit numuha ka pa ng dugo dun, hindi mo na sila makikita. Other forms of swindling naman are include fake sellers who ask you to pay via digital methods nga and then, then they disappear without a trace, ghosting you on social media. Yan ang mangyayari. Fake donation drives. Yung mga fake, uh, yun, di ba? Nauso yung pag-birthday, papadonate ka in, in favor of yung mga charities mo. Well, there are also fake donation drives and hack friends account where scammers would take advantage of your goodness by asking you for money. Is, uh, kunyari, yung kaibigan mo daw is in a fix or merong emergency. Yun pa, yung mga identity theft. If, kung, uh, kung lately, biglang may nagpapa-friend sa inyo sa Facebook, na dati nyo ng friend, all of a sudden, gusto magpa-friend, or tapos, humihingi ng tulong, whatever, whatever, i-verify nyo po muna, lalo na kung kilalang kilala nyo yun, kung talagang siya yun. Dahil ang dami rin ganun na asking for donations, asking for charity work, whatever. Lalo-lalo na ngayon, ito yung Odette, marami na namang nanghihingi ng pera. And most of them, some of them are scammers. They are not real nangangailangan. Okay? Uh, may nangangailangan sila for their own gains, but not because of uh, the calamity or anything, right? So, yeah. This scam happens when cyber criminals gain access to your username and password. Ito, okay. Ito yung, ito yung unang sinabi ko was about swindling. Ito namang second kind of um, uh, cyber crime is the account takeover. Eh, yun na nga yung sinasakinikwento ko na identity theft, alright? Account takeover. This scam happens, alright, when cyber criminals gain access to your username and password, okay? Once you log in via a fake website, the fraudsters will record and use your credentials, okay? Gagamitin talaga yun. They could even steal all your money once they have your login details. Isipin nyo yan, alright? na nangyari na rin sa akin na paulit-ulit so yun na nga yung BDO account ko sorry BDO but I really have to say this so that also people will learn eh, tsaka palagi namang parang target ng pag-hack ang BDO ilang beses po doon na-hack yung debit card ko to the point na hindi po ako pwedeng mag-ATM up to now sa BDO kasi as soon as I open a new one the next day things are debited from my ATM uh, tsaka, buti nga kasi, hindi naman credit card yun eh. Ninanako niya talaga yung actual pera ko, right? So, there's something wrong there. Tapos, ang ginawa ko, nagbukas ako ng account sa ibang banko, which is PS Bank, where my checking account is also, it is. And, how weird, because kakabukas ko lang, the next few days, na-debit din yung PS Bank ATM card ko. So, there must be something na nakatimbre sa sindikato ng whatever IP address. I don't know what it is. But I could never open a debit, an, an ATM debit card because automatically, they get charged to, right? Ang weird. So, ngayon, yung, buti na lang yung PS Bank, mayroon silang provision na i-block i- yung ganong facility na pwede mong ipambayad or ipang ipang uh, book ng ng hotel, yung de- debit card mo, sinara nila yun at pwede ko pa rin gamitin as an ATM. Thank you, Lord. Because dating in BDO, hindi eh. I don't know why. But uh, I'm sorry. But yun nga lang, yung PS Bank, nung nakap- nakapag-charge na ng mga over almost 5,000 pesos sa bago kong debit card, hindi nila maibalik, hindi nila ma-reverse yung funds, which is sad. You know, I, I lost again almost 5,000 sa bagong PS Bank of ATM. Ang BDO naman, in fairness to them, binalik nila yung lahat ng uh, unwarranted or uh, unauthorized debits on my BDO ATM before. Binalik nila yun po. Pero pa si PS Bank hindi. Kasi daw nag-charge na nung, nung vendor na bayaran na. Pero my God, I didn't do those purchases. But anyway, uh, water under the bridge, okay? So I, am, I myself am a victim of the scammers online, okay? So, this scam happens na kasi when they take your password and username. They could also steal your money, lahat talaga. While there are many ways the scammers get our details, phishing is the most common reason why account takeover happens, okay? Yan nga yung phishing na yan, phishing crime, okay? Um, 
cyber cr criminals kasi itong ginagawa nila they would send you emails SMS or uh, texts and private messages on your messenger account pa even WhatsApp or Viber and with fake landing pages ah landing pages is yung pag kinlik mo yung link pupunta ron like sa website kasi gumagawa sila ng fake na website saka yun kinagamit nila yung mga legit companies for example in the Philippines here yung SM or whatever kanya de Petron or PLDT whatever they 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 steal the logos pinapagawa nila ng itsurang kamukha talaga ng legit na fact na company like Amazon or yeah kanya kanya de Lazada whatever kinagamit nila yon kanya de siya yung website pero fake yon those are fake landing pages if you look closely at the URL or the address you can see the med meron difference hindi siya kanya de SM.com whatever or or even yung mga fake news ganun din hindi sila legit na CNN because they magagaling na ngayon yung mga cyber criminals na yun. may may magagaling silang artist na ginagaya yung mga landing pages ng websites okay so these are fake landing pages pretending ko nyari to be to be GCash or PayPal right or Payoneer dahil ito yung mga uh, digital payment uh, facilities right so sometimes these criminals would also use fake social social media profiles and pretend to be from payment platforms you know that see so that's what you have to watch out for hello hello whoever is watching ah uh, hindi ko na nakikita kung sino nag talaga tong aking facebook ay nagloko na talaga sa laptop ko ayaw niyang mabuhay buhay <laughs> i'm trying but i i really can't for some reason facebook on my laptop is dead Okay, so I'm um, broadcasting through my my phone. Pwede na rin sana. Okay, at least nakakatulong ako. Ako yung nakaka-broadcast pa rin. So going back to what I was saying, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Nawala to rin yung pinagsasabi ko. So yun, yung, yung fishing na yan, okay. If you get scammed, all right. Kunyari, if you get scammed because of these methods na sinabi ko sa inyo, uh, account uh, takeover, tsaka yung pagsiswindling online, it's time to reevaluate your priority list and put a focus on your security, okay? Truth to be told, truth be told, it is beyond your payment platforms or control if you share your private account details with scammers, all right? Having a lack of awareness is the first thing we need to address. So that's why we're we're inciting awareness to this because it is a common problem and it is an existing problem. Your identity theft, yung pagskaskam online, okay, pag nanakaw ng account nyo or ng identity nyo. This is something that is existing nowadays and pre prevalent in this, lalo na in this pandemic. Lalo maraming resellers, maraming e-commerce, maraming online uh, purchases or transactions, okay? The first thing we need to address and break in order to stop to stop these cyber crimes is to be aware of the problem. Diba? Yun lang naman yun eh. Even as a cyber security advocate, I still get a lot of scamming and, diba, and fraud attempts to myself. Ako, sa akin, normal na yan mga attempt na to eh. Nasanay na ako through the years, hinahack yung account ko, hinahack yung email ko, and also because I'm online 24-7. Yun talaga, when you are online, 24-7, you are actually para tong virus eh, parang pag lumabas ka sa labas susceptible ka talaga ma-infect ng virus, ganun din yung ano virus online, diba? The more, oh, the more online you are, the, the more prone you are to being hacked okay, and being uh, subjected to the, to the cyber criminals okay, so even as a cyber security advocate like I said, these criminals obviously have no idea that I spend most of my time exposing and encouraging other people to take their security seriously. But oh God, diba? Paulit-ulit ko itong pinakwento at sinasabi sa aking programa. Even before, nung, when I was still writing for Manila Bulletins and Newspaper. I've been using, okay, I use Gcash, okay? I've been using Gcash and I can attest to it na talaga siyang effective at mahusay. Kesa nung, yun na nga, nung, yung debit card na, na banko, Okay na sa akin tong Gcash because it's very convenient. I've been I've been using this for more than a year now 
Uh, I think it's now the most popular digital payment platform in our country. And aside from making the platform secured, okay, they're also calling to all users like you and me to use G-Check Muna. Uh, sla, and to? Tawag doon? Hashtag. G-Check Muna. And fight the fraudulent activities by following the easy-to-remember G-Checklist reminders. Okay, ito to, ha? Okay. Ito ang mga reminders kung paano may proprotectahan ang sarili mo against cyber criminals and cyber hackers. Alright? Number one, okay? Uh, hindi ko talaga kasi ano eh. Wala akong background. It's okay. Bahay ko na lang. Because, uh, wala. Sira yung ano ko. OBS at laptop. Alright? Never share your M-PIN or your PIN code or your OTP or your one-time password nyo. Never share it with anyone, okay? Scammers often post as a Gcash representative or a friend to trick you into giving your OTP, okay? So don't do it, all right? Remember, your MPIN and OTP are only for you. Diba? Para sa inyo lang yun. Huwag yung i-share, no? Unless yung, of course, yung kasama niyo sa bahay na tinatrust niyo dahil kailangan mong may gawing transaction. Pero, just me, oh. Never give it to anybody else. In some situations, okay, scammers try to look over their target's shoulders to get their MPIN or OTP, okay? To avoid this, all right, to avoid this, Gcash has a feature that allows you to log in using your fingerprint or your face, okay? Face value, all right? Enable your biometrics login so that you can your MPIN safe even when you're in a public space okay, or place. So, yun ang number one, ha? never share your MPIN, never share your PIN code, never share your OTP or one-time password to anyone. Okay? So, yun lang yun. Okay, number two, only do actions via the app. Yun ang aking butihing may bahay, butihing partner ay nag Yes, he's here with me. Ano naman tayo dito? Live. Live din yung action na pati sa loob ng bahay. But anyway, so, number two, only do actions via the app. Okay, do your transactions or actions via the Gcash app on your phone. Okay? When asked to verify or log in, only do it with the Gcash app. Some scammers use similar looking phishing sites to trick you into giving your information. All right? Always keep tabs on all your transactions. Gcash now, okay, has real-time transaction history. So you can find discrepancies or unauthorized transactions and report it right away. Diba? Diba? So pwede nyo nang i-report ka agad nyo. Nangangawit na ako sa paghawak dito. Ha? Anyway. Be careful of who you transact with. Yan, una-una. Number three pala. Be careful kung sino ang katransaction nyo. Okay? Always read... Uh, uh, resell the reviews, diba? read the reviews, research the product you're buying, and who you are buying it from. Ayun ang ano dyan eh. Kagaya, diba, may mga nagbebenta ng cellphone sa Lazada, sa Shopee. Alamin nyo kung talagang, kanyari, sa, op sa Oppo mismo diretsya, or sa Huawei, or sa Samsung, kung talagang doon nanggagaling yung merchandise. Otherwise, yun nga, maraming mafe-fake ka na China lang, or whatever it is. But, you know, verify and research the product and the seller. Okay? Alright? Mm. Be careful who you transact with. There are cases when fraudsters would pretend to be your friends. Ha? Isipin nyo yan. They would pretend to be your friends in need. Kailangan ng tulong. Don't send anything yet. Okay? Be sure. Be, alamin nyo muna na talagang yan yung kaibigan nyo. Know the person. Send him a message or simply call or alam mo kung bahay niya, check mo. Simply call to verify as it all takes uh, to say, that, that's what it takes to save you from a scammer. Because ang dami nga nag-identity theft, yung, pa, yung, yung mga Facebook account, ninanakaw, right? So please, be careful who you transact with. Okay? That's number three. Number four, go to the Gcash channels, all right? For all concerns, go to Gcash Help Center, all right? Uh, do not post your inquiries on social media 
and Zcash will never send a personal message to you to address concerns, okay? Let us all remember that being a victim of cybercrime not only puts us in danger, but also the people we have engaged with on social media. Our contacts po, na ano yan, na nanakaw din nila. Yung pas, uh, email or even sa Facebook, our friends, they can, pati yun nalalaman nila, okay? Follow the tips on securing digital security, digit, uh, to secure your digital payments, and social media accounts for all of us to have a safe online experience. So with that po, yun po yung, yung ano, ripaso ko lang, no? How to protect yourself, uh, cybersecurity, okay? Number one, never share your PIN code or your OTP to anyone. Number two, only do actions via the, the app, your payment app, whether it's PayPal, Gcash, Payoneer. Just do your transaction through the app. Be careful who you transact with, okay? Be careful kasi sino yung babayaran nyo or bibilihan nyo. Alamin nyo kung research nyo yung product, pati yung panggagalingan. And number four, go to uh, the, the, the websites of the app or, or yung company niya. Kung Gcash siya, Gcash. Go to the channels, okay? Let's all remember that being a victim of cybercrime not only puts us in danger, but also puts in danger yung mga kakontak natin sa social media, our contacts, like on our cell phone, on our email, okay? It endangers them too, kasi mananako din nila yun, alright? Okay, so with that said, that uh, that wraps up my bit on uh, cybersecurity, okay? Alright? Regarding digital payments, okay? So, um, because of this, no, itong, uh, because of this, uh, yun yun, yung mga pay, companies like Paymaya pala, nagbigay din sila, nagdonate sila sa audit. Tungkol dito sa maraming marami po nagdodonate, dito sa, because of na mga nasalanta ng bagyo, yun na yung concern na sana maka, maka, makarating sa kanila yung tulong na hinihingi nila, right? Uh, okay, innovation. We talk about the gifts that we receive during Christmas time. Well, uh, innovation, quality products, cost-effective prices, and now the gift of sharing, okay? For many companies and organizations, big or small, sharing their blessings to underdeserved sectors during this time of the year has been a tradition that adds color and light to relieve the spirit uh, to relive and, uh, and, and live through this pandemic during these holidays, okay? That th this tradition has provided an avenue to Vendis Pharmaceuticals, V-E-N-D-I-Z Pharmaceuticals. The founder is Jovencio Vendiza to create a legacy for his company to continue over the years. Driven by its mission to improve the lives of Filipinos through continuous innovation, quality products, and cost-effective prices, VPI extended this objective through corporate social responsibility or CSR programs that reach out to non-government institutions catering to the special needs of our people, okay? This year, VPI continues Mr. Vent's legacy to extending assistance uh, to not just one but four organizations. Itong Pasko na to, tinulungan ng VPI ang mga uh, 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 apat na companies na ito or uh, apat na entities. Giving the gift of love, yung Bendis Pharmaceuticals, uh, tinulungan nila ang Our Lady of Pentecost Parish in Loyola Heights, Quezon City, to turn over the year-end donation that will provide support to 80 students of the school's scholarship program, okay? VPI has been supporting the activities of the parish through regular donations in the past years, even before the pandemic struck the country. This year, they, they, they did this for the, the church, okay? Ang kanila bang tinulungan ay ang tulay ng kabataan, okay? Casting hope to 400 youth of tulay ng kabataan. Ayan siya, oh. Alright? Okay? Tulay ng kabataan. Casting hope to 400 youth of tulay ng kabataan in Diliman, Quezon City. VPI representatives turned over monetary donations, vitamins, and medicines to Tulay ng Kabataan Secretary Ms. Grace De Vera last November 18. All right? Tulay ng Kabataan is a non-profit organization 
founded on May 15, 1998, by a French Jesuit priest, Executive Father Matthew Doshaz, and Ms. Gloria Rescio oversee the daily operations of the organization along with multidisciplinary volunteers from local community. Ang isa pang natulungan ng BPI ay ang spreading, uh, is by spreading joy to the Children's Joy Foundation Incorporated. Ayan po sila. Okay? All right. With children being the center of the Christmas season, BPI also extended assistance to the wonderful kids of the Joy's Children's Joy Foundation. This is a care facility located in Project A, Quezon City. BPI chose to aid CJFI to support its commitment of fulfilling the mission of love and compassion for the, de for the neglected and underprivileged children in the Philippines. Okay? Ang isa pang tinulungan ng BPI ay ang light at sources of the blind. Okay? Ayan. Alright? Light at Sources of the Blind, Incorporated. Okay. BPI representatives turned over their donation to the non-government Christian organization serving blind people. Resources for the Blind, Inc. Tung last November 25. BPI believes that everyone should be given an equal opportunity despite of impairment or disability. Talaga naman. The company's monetary donation along with some vitamins and, and medical Medic medicines aims to help the organization in their daily operation, which includes production of Braille books for the blind fellow men. Okay? Resources for the blind, so mga was established in 1988 in Edsa Cubao, Quezon City. Okay? So to learn more about resources for the blind, visit their Facebook uh, page. Okay? So, yan po ang, ang balita tungkol sa mga, sa BPI na tumulong, okay, sa mga underprivileged at mga organizations na ito. Alright? Okay, so, more on uh, what's happening around. Okay, latest breakthroughs, okay, in technology. Ay, bukas ko na lang itong papag-usapan kasi maganda makita yung picture. Eh. Hindi ko mapakita ngayon because ka of my incapacity dahil yung Facebook ko ay bumukas sa aking, ano, ay bumukas sa aking laptop. So, ang nagtitiis ako dito na pag-usapan through my uh, through my uh, cellphone. But anyway, birthday greetings. Wala po akong mag-greet na birthday today. Ah. Today is December 28. Bukas pa po ang birthday ng aking anak. So, bukas ko na siya babatian. But anyway, so, okay, in, in the world of travel naman, over 4,000 flights were canceled uh, even ahead of Christmas due to a spike in the Omicron COVID-19 infections, right? Uh, holiday travel has hit a major snag, okay? With United Airlines, Delta, and JetBlue axing thousands of flights, okay? The cancellations have affected over 4,000 flights so far globally according to Flightware. That's why nga, kung naga, yung mga nagaantay ng kamag-anak nilang mga balikbayan, nagtataka kayo, may delay kasi po, talaga namang may delay, delay because uh, dahil yung, yung Omicron po ay kumakalat. It is a we already established that, that it's a fast-moving, fast and more infectious uh, uh, virus, right? But, uh, pero sabi nga nila, mas madali kang makarecover, especially kung nakabakuna ka na, okay? Holiday travels for many are hitting a major snag. Thousands of flights that were scheduled for the holidays were canceled. Ang mga airlines na nag-cancel ay Delta, JetBlue, United Airlines, okay? Uh, so check nyo na lang sa, flat, uh, sa flight aware, okay? Because uh, dumam, dumadami yung cases ng Omicron, so nag, tsaka yung pa nga, na-infect din pati mga cabin crew. So that's why marami nagko-call in sick. Kaya ganun, okay? That is why. Um, so more, uh, okay? Sabi ni... Um, uh, the Department of Health DOH uh, head Verhera says all COVID-19 data will still be available. Uh, Natignan nyo kung anong nangyayari sa site ng DOH, okay? 
It's looking for a new way to better guide the public about the COVID-19 situation in the country. So in a radio interview, the DOH Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere clarified that nothing will be removed from the COVID-19 data that they provide daily, but the analysis of it will be made available on their website starting next year. Okay? Nag-reformat sila at ni-re-strategize para mas mabuting i-guide yung mga tao ukot sa sitwasyon sa COVID-19. But definitely, the information for the public will still be there, she said. We are just reformatting and re-strategizing to better guide the public regarding the COVID-19 situation. But definitely, all information will still be there. Okay? The DOH announced on Monday it would no longer issue daily COVID-19 bulletins starting Saturday, Jan January 1, 2022. Pero, it will be made available nga daw sa website ng DOH. All COVID-19 data will then be transferred to the COVID-19 tracker on the DOH website at doh.gov.ph slash COVID tracker. Okay, ulitin ko sa doh.gov.ph slash backslash COVID-19 tracker. And it will be updated every 4 p.m. daily, okay? Since the start of the pandemic, the DOH has been posting a COVID-19 case bulletin on their social media pages. Oh, I get it on my Viber every day. Pada ang haba-habang post ng ano, DOH. Which includes the number of new and total confirmed cases, recoveries, deaths, as well as occupancy of hospitals in the whole country and the national capital region. It also shows how many COVID-19 tests were conducted and the percentage of those who tested positive. A tally of the health condition of positive patients, whether they are asymptomatic, mild, moderate, severe, or critical, it is also provided in the bulletin, okay? We have assessed na itong case bulletin. Yung mga datos na nakapaloob dito, hindi na masyado ang ginagamit ng mga tao at yung main messaging ay hindi nakukuha masyado. Ito ang sinabi ni Verhere. We have assessed that the data incorporated in this case bulletins are not often used by the people, thus the main messaging is not much received. What the DOH will issue, okay, uh, what the DOH will do then is to retain the COVID-19 related numbers but will have the public referred to on their website tracker, okay? Sinabi pa ni Verhere that they will issue advisories with a reported COVID-19 case number and contents analysis daily, okay? So, ang lalabas sa amin ngayon ay hindi na yung case bulletin. Ngunit, parang analysis to better guide our public kung ano yung dapat gawin at anong nangyayari talaga dito sa ating bansa with regards to COVID-19. What the public will instead get from us is an analysis to better guide them on what to do and to show what it really is happening in the country with regards to COVID-19, okay? Several senators last Monday, okay, however said they are not in favor of the DOH decision to halt the daily posting of the COVID-19 case bulletin starting January 1, 2022. Senate Majority Leader Juan Miguel Zubiri called this decision as a mistake. Senator Joel Villanueva pointed out that while the COVID-19 cases are currently low, the government must continue to be vigilant and should encourage the public to continuously monitor the developments related to COVID-19. Para mong tayo maging complacent. Totoo naman yun. Senator Francis Pangilinan made a similar point saying, accurate information about the spread of the disease is crucial in knowing whether or not the spread of the virus is being effectively addressed or not. Meanwhile, Senator Richard Gordon said, the public must always be informed to make sure that Filipinos know how to protect themselves from contracting the virus. Senator President, Senate President Vicente Soto Chitito Sen III, on the other hand, sets an agenda behind the DOH latest policy. The DOH on Monday reported 318 more uh, COVID-19 infections. Actually, 400 plus na po yung COVID-19 infections na bago. Okay? So, so, yun po ang tungkol sa COVID-19 information na gusto nilang uh, tanggalin na sa mga social media at uh, ilagay na lang sa website daw nila. Okay? That's their take. But then, yun nga, umuopos itong mga, okay, umuopos uh, ang mga maraming tao, right? About it. Mm. So, 
in connection to sinabi ko cyber security, okay, you have to prepare yourselves for more digital fraud and unauthorized data exploits tong coming year, okay? Bakit? Because with the increased reliance on digital infrastructure due to the pandemic, cyber attacks have become more lucrative, threatening organizations and institutions worldwide. This will continue to itong 2022, lalo na, right? as individuals, businesses, and authorities must prepare for it. So according to an American multinational cybersecurity company, Palo Alto Networks, dapat pa natin paghandaan tong more cyber crimes, okay, uh, na nangyayari because kakalat pa rin ito. But we'll talk about uh, what kind of, uh, what, uh, what more, what we can do to protect ourselves, tutuloy natin po yan bukas, okay? Because, um, uh, ano pang balita? Well, in the world of entertainment here in the Philippines, okay, uh, nabasa ko to, si Marvin Agoncillo is issuing an apology after customers aired frustration on his Cochinillo business. Ayan. Kasi nagbabenta rin ng pagkain online tong si Marvin Agustin. Alam niyo naman to, restaurateur, hindi lang restaurateur, he's a whatever, chef, cook, whatever, business entrepreneur on food. Marami siyang mga food chain. Marvin Agustin issued an apology, okay, after customers of his cochinillo. Ano po ang cochinillo? Ang cochinillo po, in Spanish na for lechon, yung maliit na suckling pig ng Spanish. It's a, it's a little lechon, okay, cochinillo. Kasi hindi siya kagaya ng suckling pig ng China na, na niro-roast, no? Ito ay, let's, uh, well, niro-roast din to, pero cochinillo ang tawag kasi Spanish, alright? It's the suckling pig, because it's a small pig, it's not a big lechon. Kita nyo ba yun? See? Nag-issue siya ng apology, alright? Okay? So he's saying that in a statement posted on social media, the actor said it was his first Christmas and that he's very sorry for the mistakes that he made. Bakit pa? Maling-mali na nagpa-overwhelm kami sa mga di inaasahang problema. Nagkulang kami sa serbisyo at hindi namin agad-agad natugunan ang inyong mga katanungan. Masakit man yung mga nababasa ko, tinatanggap ko lahat kasi talagang nagkamali ako. So, according to Marvin, the problems resulted from a series of unfortunate incidents. So, he's merely saying sorry for unforeseen, uh, f that he didn't foresee the problems during the Christmas uh, uh, rush, okay? Including kitchen equipments breaking down, a glitch in their order, in their technical ordering system, and last minute cancellation of uh, mga riders or couriers, kaya hindi sila nakapag-deliver on time. Despite these, Marvin knows that it's not an excuse to deliver bad services. True, because walang kinalaman yung nag-order, wala silang pakialam dun, dahil lang dapat order ka, darating sa'yo, right? So kung ano man yung kanyang technical glitches or, or, or logistics problems, you know, hindi mo talaga yun ma ano dun sa customer, okay? Sana mabigyan niyo ako ng pagkakataon maipakita na hindi ko pagkataong magbigay ng problema o hirap sa kahit na kanina. He's saying that uh, I hope he's he hopes that the people will give him a chance to rectify what happened and to prove that he is not that kind of a person to, to hurt or give problems to anyone. Okay. To make up for their shortcomings, Marvin said he and his team have already reached out to customers they have inconvenienced during the most important special occasion of the year. They're also in the process of contacting the rest of their customers to address concerns properly. Bawat isa sa inyo mahalaga sa akin at sa aming trabaho. Uh, each and every one of you, I value each one and each and every one of you who are our customers and our co-workers. I promise each one of you will do better and we will compensate. Okay, scrolling through the business Facebook page, among the complaints received were delays in delivery and order confirmations, as well as cochinillas that were burnt or rubbery or not cooked and with, without crunchy skin. Nakakahiya naman talaga po yun, no? <coughs> Na... <coughs> Sorry, yun pala akong water. <coughs> I've been talking straight without sipping water. But anyway, yun po. So, yun po yung news tungkol dyan, right? Uh, tungkol sa world ng entertainment at saka lifestyle, right? So, 
Bukas po, hopefully, ayos na po yung aking OBS at saka itong laptop ko na ayaw makapag-broadcast dito sa Facebook. Uh, that's why I'm doing it this on my phone without my my, my graphics and my backgrounds. And Anyway, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow Wednesday, uh, starting next year, I'll be dedicating Wednesdays to online work and online life uh, as, as uh, in the employment industry. So we will be having guest panelists to answer questions regarding jobs online uh, starting uh, next year, every Wednesday, okay? I will be having some co-hosts there too. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me for today. Happy Tuesday, everyone. And uh, pasensya na po at ako yung broadcast ng ganito, na walang mga background, pero yun na po, yung aking dal kadaldalan, yan ang um, inyong na-witness for the past few minutes. But Thank you so much, and I hope everybody's having safe holidays with their loved ones. And um, uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Ang masarap niyong lunch. And of course, always remember, tayo po, okay, nasa YouTube tayo. Those who have not subscribed, okay, please go to our to Broadstream Cast Communicators YouTube channel where you can view past episodes po na nagawa namin dito sa Facebook live stream namin. So, Please like and subscribe po so that we can share our blessings, we can share our knowledge to more people around the world uh, and, you know, give information and uh, entertainment and, of course, uh, the data that they need uh, or whatever they want to find out, okay, and talk about. But anyway, maraming maraming salamat po for joining me today. This has been Jay Bautista, your Techie Mommy, sa Buhay Online. I'm always reminding you that in life, of course, and, and uh, as we live in love, three things should remain, which is faith, pananampalataya, uh, hope, pag-asa, and love. Talaga naman po, at the end of the day, yan lang po importante, that we, we do not lose faith, we do not lose hope, and we do not lo lose our feelings of love for, for everybody. So, maraming salamat po. Magkita-kita po tayo ulit bukas. Maraming salamat sa mga who joined me today here uh, online. And thank you very much. I'll see you po tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Inyong natuhayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Stream Cast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. See you tomorrow.